No, an usual, an usual tip is to write an interactor, a problem that like simulates the uh, the uh, like the judge problem, and that are uh, like validates your answers and interacts with your code. Interactive, interactive problems are kind of difficult because they require ideas. Uh, if I want to give a tip, I think many of the interactive problems involve logarithmic approach, the binary and uh, making a problem half and then solve that. Uh, I guess that's it. I have uh, a lot of experience with in interactive problem uh, because it's uh, quite popular in Russia. Uh, uh, so I think uh, there are really different kind of uh, such problems. Such problems. Uh, so I think uh, there is uh, no uh, one way to solve it. Um, so I think it's kind of the same problem, but, but uh, it's uh, more online. Uh, you uh, you have to interact with system and uh, uh, do some. Um, um, Make, uh, you, you should make decision uh, immediately, so uh, that's it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think interactive problems definitely can be cool. Uh, there's, you know, there's some potential that some teams you know, uh, won't know how to do them, especially if they're newer to programming. Um, but I think you know, it kind of opens up, it definitely opens up a little bit of an avenue uh, for you know, kind of novel problem formats and some kind of, sometimes like interesting interactive games and whatnot. Um, I do think that you know, it's often possible to you know, get the same type of the same type of uh, problem solving experience from uh, normal, from non-interactive problems though. Um, interactive problems, I've done quite a few like on Code Forces, I've done some on Caddis. They're pretty neat. I kind of like how a lot of them are kind of more like um, you're playing a game or you have to just like logically think through some solution that will just kind of cover everything. Um, and so yeah, I heard that there might be one this year and if there is one, I don't think there'd be like any issue. I think we, um, it'll just be like another problem. There won't be any hindrance because it's interactive. Good. I've done like I've done a number of interactive problems in the past, um, and I think they're quite inter interesting because they open up a, like a much wider variety um, of problems, um, and they're often somewhat left to field or unexpected. And in a lot of ways, I like that um, because it lets me like explore new ideas. Um, or there's often solutions that aren't just a standard algorithm um, or just a, a mix of two common ideas or whatever. Um, and in that way I often find them very unique and I enjoy them for that reason.